Let's see what the public had to say in the latest uh, set of polling from News Hub. Tēnā kato, good Tēnā evening. Tēnā kato, National's kato. economic credibility has taken a hit with Kiwis. Our latest News Hub Read research poll reveals a majority don't think the party can pay for the campaign centrepiece. You know how there's like they won't show us their workings and their numbers don't add up? Yeah, mm. apparently more than just us have seen that, shall we? Oh, okay. Next cuts. Political editor Jenna Lynch has the exclusive numbers. Christopher Luxon simply cannot bear passing ahead without checking for hair. What's under the hat, my friend? I've heard of the hair. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm conjuring memories for these two well, of an embarrassing, embarrassing trait of a national leader past. <laughs> Be funny, old John Key with the ponytail. <laughs> All part oh. of the funny games of the campaign trail. Quite a big squirt. Like a big squirt. Like that. But there's no fun and games when it comes to the finances. Wow. It's getting foamy now. National's been under an immense amount of pressure to release the modelling around its Appro tax Appropriate plan. pressure. It's pledged to pay the tax cuts in part by introducing a foreign buyer's tax, bringing in $740 million. Several economists have Somehow, rubbished the Somehow, through magic. Several, several, did you hear that from Janet? Several economists. You mean all the economists bar one. Bar one. Yeah, that's what you mean. So all the economists bar one have rubbished them. Do you think that Kiwis believe you can pay for your tax cuts? Oh, that smile uh, took a while. Yes, they know that we're... Yeah, Kiwis know... Just, that... This is really important to watch. Watch how ardently he stays with it. Remember what I said the last few days? Giving credit to, to ACT, as hard as that is, giving credit to them that they've decided to to uh, amend their promises pre prefu, right? But yeah. these guys just won't. They just won't. They're staying the course. And the number, it's like he's got to a point. Here's the headline for the story if we're going to write. Um, Luxon's got to a point that he's almost convinced himself this is true. Almost. He's almost convinced himself. That we can pay for our tax cuts. No, they don't. We know because we asked in our latest News Hub Read research poll, do you believe National can pay for its tax cuts? And a majority oh. said no. So less than one in three think it is, right? Other than that, no or don't know make up about 70% altogether. 70.1% it would be technically, wouldn't it? But 53, 54% actively say no, we don't believe you can pay for them. 53.8%, only 29.9% thought they could. And worse news, even 29.4% of National's Ooh. own voters don't think they can pay for their tax. So one in what? three National voters don't believe him. Holy I don't believe them shit. in their numbers. One in three. It's cuts, though the majority does. Can National pay for its tax cuts? No, absolutely not. So the National Party, this, this fundamentally is an issue of trust. The National Party is saying, just trust us. And so I am very confident we will deliver Listen low and this, middle man. income tax relief. Christopher Luxon, totally Again, again, and again, and again. What happens if he needs Winston? If National needed you to... Do you think Winston's going to be yes to foreigners? Of course he's not. So this is the question, yeah? If National needs that foreign buyer tax, but they're not a majority government, and one of their partners says no, then what? Now, you would think someone who was honest would say, this is National's plan. We're going to need buy-in from our partners. If we don't have buy-in, that might change it, but this is National's plan. But he doesn't say that. He says, basically, no matter what, we will be doing this. Now, if we to take him at his word, that means if Winston says no to the foreign buyers tax, the only other way is cuts. That's the only other way to do this. Yep. Go into government. Would you let foreign buyers back into the New Zealand housing market? Look at a smile. Look, it looks like they'll need far more than me to show a convincing spreadsheet. Are you going to be able to push forward with your tax cuts if Winston Peters doesn't let you do a foreign buyers? We are going to deliver tax relief, as we have said, to low and middle income New Zealanders. Because Hello, high water. So make that clear. If Winston doesn't let you do the foreign buyers tax, are you still going to do it? Yes, yes. is the answer. This is, and, but I think what we get here is he repeats it again and again and again. That's what I'm saying. He has almost convinced himself of this. It is in our tax system. We are going to deliver tax relief to New Zealanders. Peter's playing coy on whether he'll let foreign buyers back in. Will, will you let national? If not, that seven hundred and forty million dollars Luxon needs to find to pay for them without it. Pretty massive promise to do it without your foreign buyers tax. Uh, I'm telling you, we will deliver tax relief for middle and low income New Zealanders because they deserve it. So that seven hundred million dollars that you need to find, you can do that. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. Yeah, so you can do Absolutely. it without foreign bias. Absolutely. Where, As I said where, to you, where are you going to find it? Well, I've said to you already, we have built... Cons well, we, 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 we are very confident in our assumptions. Oh, he seems to be one of the few confident in Nationals numbers. Do you think that New Zealanders care if your numbers don't add up? Oh, I think they should. We also polled on whether Kiwis care if Nationals <laughs> numbers don't add up. The vast majority, 64.8. Wow. So, great setup. Jenna asking credit where credit is due. Do you think New Zealanders should care? Uh, Luxon's response, yes, they should clear, care. Well, two-thirds of them care if Nationals um, numbers don't add up. And they don't add up. So maybe this is why we're seeing a little bit of an awakening between the right. Not saying it's going to be enough to stop them being in government, but a little bit of an awakening in the right and the numbers slightly peaking. Mm. I mean, Chippy said last week that they've peaked and they're going to come down. He has to say that because he's opposing them. But, you know, we said last week that we think ACT has probably reached its peak. Now, if let me just paint you a picture. If National was to drop two or three points and ACT was to drop another point or so, or even stay where they are at the eight and a half mark, then it's game on. Like, that's margin of error stuff. Then it's game on. 8% said yes, we care, while 26.2% said nah, doesn't matter. What New Zealanders care about is getting tax relief. Pushing tax cuts at any cost. There you go. So there's the first story, wow. and that was a whopper straight out of the news tonight, so we had to include it. So New Zealanders don't believe Nationals numbers. Right, And we've been talking mm. about the narrative that National's been controlling in this election cycle. You have to admit that means the left, I think primarily us, but the left has managed to sell that accurate narrative that the numbers don't add up because that message has got through to the public. One in three National voters don't believe the numbers. One in three. And a majority of New Zealanders overall don't believe the numbers, Chewy. So now we've got an interesting position, right, where the two main parties are ignoring what polls are telling them. Yeah. Nationals ignoring the fact that people don't believe them, that they don't believe that they can count, that they don't believe that they can deliver them or what they're promising is based on flim-flam. Flim-flam! And, and then you've got Labour who is ignoring the polls that show them that wealth tax has <laughs> a broad support. Yeah. So yep. whatever side of the political, like, I, I mean, if we're talking about nationals tax cuts, ACT have already pulled back on theirs. So they, they're pretty clear that, oh shit, this probably isn't a great idea. I can't imagine Winston going for it at all on principle or just because he's a, agent of chaos he's not going to agree to a a, a a plan that he wasn't part of right from the get-go well and because his his whole his whole um ethos has always been fuck the foreigners and yeah. so to then go and approve it and remember as well the point that was made last night in that finance debate debate conversation from q a is that how can they how can they try and sell the idea that 20 billion dollars of new money to the economy that's not currently circulating the economy that's from offshore new money to the economy is not going to just turn uh, inflation, give it a, it's going to put it on a rocket because it's $20 billion of money that's currently not in our economy. So it's not recycling money. It's brand new money from offshore, 5 billion extra a year. It's got, it's, it's the definition of inflationary and in a time where everyone's talking about trying to get inflation down. So if Winston looks at that and goes, do I want to be a part of something that's going to make it go back from 6% to 7.2% or even stay at 6% when it should be at 4%, then he's not going to want a bar of it. Because if anything you can trust in, Win in Winston is that he will protect his name, right? Mm. He will protect his legacy. And if he gets involved with something that he thinks will tarnish his legacy, even though it's selfish, I think you can trust he won't go near it. I, I believe. Mm. Well, you you're betting 100 at this point, Pat. So keep keep making these predictions. It's great. Um, the 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 other thing that I would say here is Luxon does not want to get pushed off message that these tax cuts are well, for low and middle income. Yeah. No, but they're for low and middle income earners. Don't you know? Mm -hmm. We're going to deliver tax relief for low and middle income earners. I'm all about tax relief for low and middle income earners. Now. I don't care how many times he repeats that. It's not for us. No. It never was. That's no. not why he's had millions of dollars of donations from New Zealand's rich listers. They're not doing that so 
low and middle income earners can get tax relief. They're getting they're giving that money to get it back fivefold, yeah. tenfold. By getting 100%. rid of the bright line test or cutting that right down to next to nothing, to making sure that their trusts aren't taxed, to making sure that wealth tax never sees the light of day, to make sure that they don't have to increase wages for their workers. Mm-hmm. Like that's why you give money to national. That's why you give money to act. Or well, I yeah. assume you give money to act because you want to build an arsenal as well in your bunker. But yeah, like it is not every time you hear him say low and middle income earners, it is bullshit. Oh.